Hi friend, <laughs> it's time. You know, you know what I have to say, you know what I'm about to do, but you know, just for old time's sake, welcome back to the Law School Diaries. If you are new here, hi, my name's Leandra, and this is the last time I'm gonna say this like this ever, but hi, my name's Leandra, I am a 3L at Duke Law, and in this vlog, you guys are gonna see me graduate. <laughs> It is time, you guys. It is time, my friends. I am graduating law school next Saturday. Literally next Saturday. And I don't want to get into the whole, like, I'm grateful for you guys. Because I am. I really am. But we still have a little bit of time together on this last leg of the journey before we start talking about the end, you know? Before we start talking about the end. So I'm going to save it for that time. Uh, but I just really want you guys to take the time to enjoy this last leg of the journey with me because we have been in this together for the last three years. Some of you guys have been here since I was in undergrad, since I first started vlogging. And I just want you to take the time with me over the next two weeks to enjoy what we're about to do because, because we really did that we really did that but yeah finals are over all my finals have been submitted so i have about two weeks until graduation to really just like start packing up stuff moving start like saying goodbyes to people like all of that and i just want to take the time to enjoy it so we're going to be enjoying ourselves awesome thank you you're welcome Oh, we got the hat. We got the hat. <laughs> it's a pickup. Can y'all hurry up? It's a pickup. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> the way I just never want to take this off. Like... Picking my regalia up, the official one, just made this 10 times more real that I'm really about to be out this bitch next week. Like, that is insane. Insanity. And it just, I just look so good in it too. Like, <laughs> I look fantastic. And this regalia is obviously way better than the ones that I bought on Poshmark for my photo shoot. Um, like, it's just a lot, the quality is just a lot better, uh, but it looks very, very similar. Like it looks the same. So picture wise, it's still gonna come out looking good, but we got, you know, we got the gown. Let me show you guys the hood really quick. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, we've got the, I think this is called the hood. Um, and it has our royal blue or duke blue back here um, and the white in the back with the purple in the front and then we have the hats. Now, I was a little bit worried after I picked this up because I don't know how this hat's going to fit on my head even without braids. Like, I tried to put it on and it kind of, it was a little smug. <laughs> A little smug uh, so we're gonna have to figure it out I don't want it to just feel like it's sitting on top of my head I also just don't want it to mess up my makeup uh, on the day of so I'm really gonna have to you know try <laughs> try to put this on but y'all we are about to be out of here anyway I really don't have nothing going on but to wait until I graduate but I do have to move out of this place and the plan for today is to try and figure out ways that I can start just like packing things up. I did um, pick up some boxes, but my issue is, my issue is like, because my family, my mom, my sister, I, I, probably my aunt, they're all going to come here and that this is going to be their first time in my apartment ever, like with it fully decorated. I just feel so weird to take down decorations before they come and they see it. But at the same time, I need to get the fuck up out of here af right after they leave. So I kind of have no choice. I've already started taking away like clothes and things that I don't want anymore. I did that earlier, if you guys will remember, and then I literally just went back in the thing and kept taking clothes and putting them back in my closet um but i took them all out again so now i have these really nice sam elderman shoes um that i just never wore i, I was also going to get rid of the purple one that you guys see up there y'all see that purple one 
it's a beauty but i've never worn it i just decided to keep that one because it's just too pretty it's just too pretty to to get rid of but i was thinking maybe we start by taking care of some of like my uh my winter stuff like get rid of most of these blazers things like this and pack them up today um i did go through this already and arrange things i wouldn't want so everything that's here are things that i do want and they're gonna end up getting packed up and moving to dallas with me uh, for the summer i think most of these shoes are going to come um i am i'm gonna probably donate these because i never wear them um i would donate these ones too because these ones are just so superior like they just look so much more fashionable than the regular uh converse but sometimes i wear these to the gym but then again they're so platform that i can't do lunges in them sometimes uh but but you know we'll keep these ones because they do have some functionality this one is definitely gonna get donated we're gonna go ahead and store these ones and store these boots back here also then the main thing today is to pack up all of these books okay um <laughs> most of these i bought doing 1l until i realized that i didn't have to buy physical books anymore especially when you're on campus you can just get the library and scan all your readings so i have a lot of like case books and just supplemental books that i'm gonna go i'm gonna give to the uh, bolsa book bank for other students to use so we're gonna pack that up for them also Y'all remember this jacket? <laughs> and I only ever got to wear it once. What a shame. I am keeping it. I am keeping it. This this is going to be worn in New York. Yeah. My house is starting to look so empty and I guess I don't have to be shy about showing you guys my address anymore because by the time you see this, I will be moved out. But we are finally saying goodbye to this cat tower that Grace Kelly never fucking used. Not once. Not even once. Okay, she acted like this thing was going to kill her. We are also saying goodbye to this box, you guys. <laughs> you guys remember when I went to pick this up? around that time where there was a trend on tiktok where people had like these really cute like square boxes um and i really wanted one but it was so expensive and i saw this on amazon no facebook marketplace thought it was one of those small boxes right then when i went to pick it up found that it was this huge mammoth of a thing and then i just ended up putting it there i think i wanted to change it at some point and i just never got around to it so we're saying goodbye to this We've got mail. This is my potential graduation dress from House of CB. I did order it from Nordstrom, so it doesn't come in the House of C box. So I'm kind of a little, a little sad about that. But we're gonna try it on and see what it's looking like. Y'all, this is serving. I have to rush to go show you guys because this is a serve. So I can't zip it up all the way by myself. I'm going to need help on the day of. But this is an absolute serve. This is a moment. This is my moment. So like, I, okay, like the original, the original plan, as you guys know, was to wear the Kilantar set on graduation day because it was so expensive. But then I wore it for pictures and a bitch like me, you know, I'm always like, okay, the people have seen it. Up off to something new. Um, but I also figured like maybe I want to go a little bit less traditional on graduation day. I feel like everybody wears white on graduation day or something like that. And I was just thinking like, why? Why not shake shit up a little bit? Like why not do a nice little leather dress? And I'm just so glad that this is the way that it is. How soft it is. The quality. The way it looks. It does not look too leathery. It doesn't look like pleathery because I'm used to pleather. Um, it just feels like butter. It feels like 
butter and i was scared about my boobs too because the model she kind of had more boobs and then i saw somebody like a picture of someone wearing this selling it on poshmark and she had like no boobs and i was like Ooh, it's not it's not kind of sitting right but i'm glad i went with a size four and not a size six because that would have been a crazy ass choice to make y'all wait until my face is beat wait until face beat hair beat everything beat because this is going to eat like it's going to eat like i need to get pictures in this i'm just so excited <laughs> for like name brand shit you know no, they're no, getting no, that on amazon no, exactly. <laughs> the amazon one is the exact thing it your face so well you can get it I from target love, I love it. this little area is such a maze i have boxes everywhere it's a little overwhelming uh but y'all yesterday we hit up taco tuesday um just really quick a little quick because places in durham really were not having deals like that or at least not that i was aware of so we went to Alka julio's um i that was the last couple of clips that was fun we are trying to be outside every single day at least every single day this week um trying to be outside the issue is that i decided <laughs> I decided at the wrong possible moment where I'm like, okay, I don't want to have even like a sip of a drop of alcohol in my body. Like, I don't want to have none of that. I want to stop eating after 6 p.m. And it's like, this is not the time at all. But at the same time, it's like alcohol like really bloats my face and I don't want to be bloated for my graduation day. So I just really need to up my water intake um by like a thousand so we're gonna try and do that just saw guzzling water take my pre and probiotics because i don't think there's any way i can just like not drink <laughs> because i as soon as i see a mimosa i'm like and even worse as soon as i get a little drop of alcohol in me i don't want to vlog anymore so we're gonna work on it because we're gonna be outside we have to be outside but i'm getting dressed uh, i'm about to go to the dentist i have no clue what they're gonna do to me <laughs> i never do i hope it has nothing to do with my uh wisdom teeth again because if it does i'm gonna walk out there's no way that i can get my wisdom teeth done now babe we got more important things to do like slay for the rest of the two weeks so i would work walk out <laughs> from that and like reschedule it or whatever um but if it's anything else it's fine so we got that going on i also need to upload the last clip you guys saw like i need to upload all those clips to the drive and give it to my editor because i haven't done that yet and you guys have not gotten a vlog in a little bit and some of y'all get a little testy y'all getting a little testy my messages so let me let me do that for you <laughs> also gonna hit the gym and do some cardio and then um maybe clean up a little bit around here too uh i'm thinking take down my posters my little colorful posters i put up that first week i moved in here and uh, move the little chair that grace kelly loves so much <laughs> I will say though, I don't know why I never thought or we never thought to look on Eventbrite to find things happening out here in Durham because things have been happening in Durham. We just have, we never thought it would be, so we never checked and that was super, super stupid. Things are happening around here and they have been for the last couple of years. We've just been dumb. <laughs> good morning the fact that i'm up right now is actually kind of crazy 7 46 but you know to be fair i only had like one shot at the beginning of the night and that was it for me um yesterday was 
but it was okay it was definitely an interesting vibe sorry for my voice y'all um they the music was good the dj was a little shoddy <laughs> with the transitions but the music was good overall um and the vibes were literally just picking up around 12 30 1 a.m when these two men start fighting at the club they just started fighting i have no clue what they're fighting about because there's really no reason to fight at the club because what are you it was just all like testosterone like fragile masculinity stuff that they're fighting about it was really strange to see it like in person i haven't seen something like that happen since like i was in greek life and you know maybe guys would get into a little bit of a tussle but you know we're all grown and this was very serious because when they started fighting everybody took it very seriously okay and I just want, not even to pivot to talking about something serious, but our fear of guns, our fear of guns in this country is just like, I've never seen something like that before. Like just where people just see two people start, you know, tussling, getting onto an argument and they're just like, yup, time to go. I don't know who's got a gun. We need to go. Like people started like, you know, running the other direction. And obviously I got scared. So I pulled Shade and we went outside and I wanted to like film what was going on. But at the same time, I don't want to film people's like true legitimate fear. Like some people were really fearful. And then there were others who were still like dancing. The DJ was still like playing the music, still trying to guide things with, you know, the microphone. It was a very surreal type of experience. <laughs> get on my zoom about these guns after I get my degree you know because yeah that was a very weird and surreal thing to experience in real life you know uh but you know other than that it was a very cute cute little night um had a lot a lot of potential um my summary is men don't be doing shit at the club <laughs> they don't do a single thing at the club not that I want them to do anything for me you know because I got a man and my man is handsome and he's everything I need him to be you know but I was just really looking like there's so many women in this room and no man is really like talking to them like trying to really do anything because at one point we were just like really people watching it was a lot of good people watching if you want to experience some great people watching go to the club <laughs> go to the club like the fashion too i think i left the main thing i left that night thinking or last night thinking was this the algorithm is a real thing the algorithm whether it's tiktok instagram your pinterest your news like it is a real thing because it's crazy to me how you can step outside in the real world and see people's different aesthetics when you thought everyone was dressing a certain way like obviously i know people dress differently but stepping into that club yesterday i felt like i was transported back to a different time where like i was i don't think any dude i don't know like it was very very strange but also really cool because it also felt like style from like 2018 2019 you know that type of style was really popular in that area and i have not seen it since 2019 i haven't seen it in a very long time so it was very interesting to be like wow people are still like out there and they're still dressed like this and this is their aesthetic and i just don't see it ever anyway the plan for today uh, first of all, I need to pick out my graduation shoes because now that the dress came and we love it, we love the vibe, I need to pick out a shoe. The shoe that the model is wearing with this, the little mules, the kitten heels, I like it. I just feel like maybe this will age me a little bit more than I would like it to age me. I think toes make people look young. When you wear shoes that shows your toes, I think it makes you look your age um versus you know a kitten heel that's kind of close like this but i do like these ones i think they're very cute and very pretty so i don't know where they are i might try and find out what they are and see you know get a little order in i think i need to get two options like an open toe one and then a closed toe one and see maybe we can get both of them in here 
um, and try both. I like the kitten heel idea though because it would save me from you know being scared of falling and tripping because I have been every time I get the idea about getting heels for graduation I go on TikTok and I see a bunch of videos of girls falling on their graduation day. Um, that will never be me. Um, and I need to make sure it, it will never be me. So <laughs> we need to get like a platform, you know, little thick heel or a tiny heel. That's it. That's all. I also have some like house, more house stuff to do um, today. We noticed this corner is real empty since yesterday I took away the chair. I could really take down this desk. Like I'm not using the desk anymore. Um, and I will be taking it with me to Dallas. Um, so I can have my own little corner to study in. Um, but first of all, I don't remember how I put this shit together. So <laughs> I'm scared to even touch it. I was hoping that the uh, the delivery people who are going to come and pack this up or pack everything else up when they come I'll just throw this in there that they take it down and then I'll you know get them to put it in my car because it, it was a little heavy but y'all I need y'all to look at my wall real quick and be really honest am I getting this down deposit back <laughs> completely forgot that I use double-sided tape from Amazon. This, if you needed a sign out to buy that double-sided tape, you know the one, the clear one on Amazon that tells you how strong it is. It is strong. Don't put that shit on your wall, please. Like, my, the plaster is ripped. I got holes in the wall. I had a lot of things going on, but I did go up to them, the leasing office people yesterday, and let them know, like, hey, can y'all come fix this before I move um, so I don't have to like pay for it or lose my down deposit. So they should be here some point today to fix this for me. And I also think we're going to try and get this out of here. This is my little Ikea glass shelf. Like I, listen, sometimes you think you really, really want something really real bad right and you get it and then it just ends up in a closet and you not thinking about it for months like i really want you guys to consider that there's just so many things that i have in this apartment that are now being like donated or really trashed that i swear i want it so freaking bad like i was like i need this or i'm gonna die like if i don't have this you know piece of furniture or whatever i'm going to die and clearly that didn't happen so we need to f figure out what to do with that i also have this little thing sitting outside um it was too heavy for me to pick up and then the leasing office called me and i was like listen get somebody out here to help me before the montage of me doing shit begins i need y'all to listen to this okay leandra thanks very much for exploring this hot button issue and for doing so in an excellent fashion you're an excellent writer and have a felicitous writing style that will stand in good stead in any field you choose to enter it's been a genuine pleasure to have you in Damon's in my class, and I hope you will stay in touch with Damon and me in the future. Paper grade, 30. Course grade, 4.0. 4.0. If you don't know or you're new here, the highest grade you can get in my law school, in most law schools, is a 4.0 in a course. Uh, I've gotten so close to it. I've gotten like a 3.8. I've gotten a 3.9. But I never, never thought I would crack the fours. I would get a 4.0 in a class. And the fact that I already know this before grades are in is just amazing. Like, it made me so happy. This is in my nonprofit class. It's the class that I wrote the 25 pa uh, piece paper on. And I thought the paper was good. I didn't think it was my best work. You know, I wasn't really trying to give, like, my best, best work uh, because I'm gonna, you know, whatever. Uh, but I, you know, it just really goes to show sometimes you really talk down on yourself. Like, I didn't think it was my best work. You know, I was looking at it very critically and they loved the paper. <laughs> they really enjoyed the paper. Like, it's just a four. Like... Wow. <laughs> I really have to put myself up in the bathroom. I'd be like, okay. That's why I didn't come in. That's why I didn't come in. Because I was like, she just need a moment. She just need a moment to rest.
go out, obviously, I did not show you guys my like makeup hair outfit yesterday, which was a real crime, purely because of this hair, okay? I learned how to do this like slick back, um, half slick back, half down hairstyle from TikTok, and I'm so glad, like it is so pretty. I actually did it yesterday with tighter curls, so this is second day hair, and I think it looks like even better. I love when curls are super relaxed. And then earlier today, you guys saw me cut up this <laughs> this dress I bought on Amazon. It's like a knockoff of like a jaded London dress. I just, the dress is just too short, y'all. But I really love the top, so I just cut it. Um, I have some boob tape on there so you're not seeing anything crazy. And then I just have this uh, silver or metallic silver skirt I bought from ASOS with my little wine and Windex in the back. Um, and I'm deciding today I'm going to wear my silver heels because I am a grown woman, okay? So I'm gonna wear my heels to the club and we're gonna see how that goes. I do wish I had some like feet numbing spray like I used to have in New York when I went out, but I don't. So let me take these off and then wait until it's time to go so I don't exhaust my feet prematurely. morning and literally at 2 a.m i had a legit nightmare about graduation like a nightmare i was sweating um it was like being hosted i think in my village back home in cameroon and i was running late but also there wasn't a lot of people there so it was kind of dead and i had all these like things in my hand like i had my camera i had my phone i was doing all this trying to vlog and it was just like a mess like i couldn't find my hat like I woke up just sweating and I just feel like <laughs> it just feels real really weird that I will be graduating like I know I keep saying that like I'm I go from being really excited to just being just flabbergasted at the fact that this is truly happening uh, and will be happening next week for me like it just feels really odd I got a little emotional too I was getting a little sad because I'm like you know you can go back to my video when I first moved to Durham and I was doing my apartment search and I was very like not about Durham at all <laughs> I cried during that that visit that you know I I think I said my I told my mom like Durham is dead where are the people there's no one around it's dead um but I've really come to like this place and you know knowing that I'm going to be leaving soon it's just it's kind of weighing on me a little bit. I'm, I'm really looking at it through a different lens, a more appreciative lens that always happens when you're right, you know, about to leave something and you don't know what you have until it's gone. But it's been like a very celebratory time, uh, especially this week. I've been going out a bunch and I was gonna come on here and like be like, sorry um, for maybe it's repetitive and I'm not giving you guys academic content, but there is no academic content to give. And I really need to free myself from thinking that I'm only useful when I'm providing academic things or when not just providing them for you guys or other people, but for myself too. Like I need to be working consistently to be productive. But this fun I'm having, just going out and just being free, living life, this is productive. Like I deserve all of this. To end off the whole week, um, my friends and I are going to brunch. Um, I'm wearing this little what is it called like the denim dress from nasty gal i believe and then i'm reusing my little uh my little belt from my blazer dress for picture day i'm glad i like found it again i kind of i kind of lost it uh but i'm glad i found it again so i can reuse it mind you i'm doing all of this with like ten thousand different responsibilities that i am ignoring mostly to do with packing up my house but you know what <laughs> we ride <laughs> Get the window down, tap on us. Not a super 
you can catch me. It is really looking like it's part of my daily routine to wake up in the middle of the night and just like cry about something uh, graduation related. Because I woke up at like 2 a.m. from mimosas <laughs> and going out and I was just so sad because, you know, yesterday was our kind of our last time like going out, you know, really going crazy, ending our week long bender, it seems. Um, and it just like, I don't know, as the... As the clock starts ticking, we are now in our final countdown, six days until graduation, or five days until graduation. I just feel like so sad to leave all my friends, even leave Durham. Like, I just feel like so sad. Like, we won't ever be truly in the same place like this again with these amount of like no responsibility. This is the least amount of responsibilities I will have ever like after this and like the bar and stuff it's it's done like i'm a full-fledged adult and that that is crazy but we had such a special week and i'm just so glad this is one of those times i'm so happy that i document a lot of my life because it's gonna be so amazing to look back on these clips and see what we got up to these last week like it, it's just it was a very special time and i'm just really grateful for it you can see like the evidence of the week though on my face like you could uh no regrets though we're about to start working on that today meaning drinking our water drinking some green juice i'm about to go to the store and just stock up of some greens and start putting them in my body asap um i also have a bunch of things to do obviously around the house as per usual i think it's time yeah you guys can see this tornado but i think it's time to start packing some of my real real clothes like i packed the ones that are being stored right here with you guys last time but i have a lot of clothes or clothes in this drawer here that I just I don't know I keep thinking like what if I need to wear it within the next week and a half and it just it doesn't make any sense like a lot of them I won't I, or I haven't even touched in a while these ones I really I don't even know if I want to bring them but now I'm really looking at them and I don't know if I want to bring all this like what am I bringing a blazer for where am I gonna go I also just need to clean up in general you guys can see evidence of the week here also all of these like margarita drinks lord jesus and i'm thinking i want to start going through the cabinets of my kitchen and just putting stuff away that needs to be put away and throwing things away that needs to be thrown away a reminder i have movers coming in on monday after my parents leave to pack up my bedroom so the majority of all the things here they need they're going to come and pack up for me and also the majority of my living room so i'm really only responsible for what I'm showing you guys right now. Also, oh so, oh so, almost forgot. Um, I have all of these. <laughs> I have all of these like hair products that I just never throw away. So I need to figure out what to do with them. So maybe we're also gonna pack those. that I'm tired it is not even a joke like I took a nap 
woke up and this has ended up being my workout for the day. I got my little trainer on, got my whitening strips on, like I am exhausted. <laughs> and it's like 1040 right now, like ugh. Want them. I just want them. She just wants the meat. Yeah. This. It is 8 a.m. It is delicious. 8 a.m. Oh, that part. That part. Because I sat there for nine hours and it was not good. It was like I did it. It went from big <laughs> to small. The braid was not consistent. I was looking at it like this. Looks like a fucking no, it's just like stress. You should be charging me fifty dollars because you're practicing. Like it's yeah. a lot like better quality. I like the little, I don't know, like the pels or something. No, like the 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 crest. Yeah. I, like I wish we got the crest. Like that okay. would be so cute. Look at it. Okay, it's not that bad. No, it looks horrible on camera. No, it look it, it doesn't look that bad. Your the lighting is very white. Move it here. No, look. It looks like I did the not. The lighting is white. That's why it's like that. It is. It looks like I didn't blend nothing. Me out. Hello, friends. <laughs> Just got back from Charlotte. Um, Shade and I went down to do our hair. I got my closure sew-in maintenance. I don't think I needed a maintenance that badly, but I just decided to get it done anyway uh, because of graduation and blah, 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 blah. So I asked her for deeper layers in my hair. Um, I also asked her to give me some baby hair. So we got baby hairs going on. Overall, I think that it looks fantastic. I just wanted more layers, especially around this part, because when I put it back, I want it to look exactly the way it looks like right now so we also stopped by sephora even though we should not have because i bought stuff and i never not buy stuff when we stop at sephora um we went there to go to the bathroom by the way ended up beating our faces for free because we were trying out products um and i just re-upped on some stuff i got the all-nighter of urban decay ultra matte spray because i ran out of that one i also bought the shishido uh, clear sunscreen stick i've been hating the feel of sunscreen on my hands and i usually use the goop sunscreen i don't know why i don't know what it is about it but recently i just don't like to touch it especially when it comes to reapplication i'm really bad at reapplying my sunscreen every two hours and i want to get better at it i have a lot of dark marks on my face and i'm so bad at reapplying sunscreen so i figured the best way to do that would be to get something that i don't have to physically like touch on my fingers i can just glide it this was expensive as hell <laughs> This was 40 something dollars and I, it was between this and the Goop uh, glow stick, glow screen stick, um, but that one was just too glowy for me. I have oily skin, I don't need that in my life. Um, so we got this, I did try it on my hand, looked good. I'm excited to just be using it and just kind of like put it in my purse and stuff when I'm walking around, make it, you know, reapplication a lot easier. I also picked up the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation in the shade Tiramisu. That's what I have on my face right now. And I thought it looked really good. So we picked that up. All of this, except for this, was unnecessary. <laughs> But that's the way Sephora works. Okay, we're just gonna ignore all of that. I also got my potential graduation shoes in the mail. So let's unbox. First of all, look at this box. This is how I picked up the box. And I'm scared to open it because why does my box look like somebody went through it and I won't find my shoes in here. But let's see what the shoes are looking like because I was a little bit conflicted. So I got two pairs. They're both black. Uh, so I decided to stick with just regular black shoes just not to overshadow the dress because the, sh the dress is already giving raw you know what i mean it's giving raw so i don't need 
I don't need the shoes to be too crazy. Okay, so these are the second shoe pair of shoes I picked um, because of the platform. If you guys can see it, it has platform here and also has like a very thick heel. Um, I want to be able to stand on my heels and my feet for a while and not fall flat on my face. Um, so I figured that it would be good to have an option that has this. Thing right here so my toes don't get too tired um, I was able to find this shoe the thing is I saw this shoe right I saw it and I was able to um, find the version of the shoe that didn't have a bunch of straps they were another version that had a bunch of straps and I didn't like it because I feel like it overshadowed there's just too much going on on my feet um, with the dress so found this last minute and I'm glad I did we're gonna be trying both of them on with you guys and let me show you guys the other pair real quick and then here is the second pair of shoes another just black um thick kind of heel um but again it does not have the um the platform on this corner which is why i got the other shoe like it's very cute i also i'm a little bit worried about this band i think it's a little too thick uh but i thought it would be a cute basic shoe anyway so we're gonna try we're gonna try them on let's try them on giving you guys hella toe content right now i know but i think this is already going to be the winner it's so comfortable and i got it in a size nine instead of my regular eight and a half and i think that's really working in my favor here because you see that little toe <laughs> at the end there i think if i had gotten this in my regular size that would really be hurting me um but because it is you know a size a little bit of a size bigger it gives me some some movement room but this is like so cute and i can see myself keeping it so i can have it as a cute little sandal a sandal heel look how cute that is like that is adorable and for good measure with the dress against my body because I don't want to put it on right now. I think this is super cute. I'm really glad that I chose the croc instead of just like the regular black. I chose black croc design because, you know, we want it to be plain but never too plain. You guys know we love attention to detail on this channel. And then we have the other shoe and it's exactly as I thought. First of all, the, how shiny it is um it's a no for me and i knew i knew i knew i knew that i would not like the thick band i just feel like with the dress it makes it look like i'm worried about being in pain and it's giving less grown women first of all i am worried about being in pain i just don't want people to know about it so yeah these are definitely getting returned cute for a different event just not this one um i also ordered a kente graduation like law graduation cloth um usually we get it and we are getting it from like the i think it's called the gypsa or the mary lou it's like the honors cloth uh, but this year they decided to change the base the, the main color to white and i saw it in a picture and i was like no uh no tea no shades so whoever decided to switch it up it's just like it doesn't like go with the graduation like gown it looks kind of strange in pictures because it's white i wish i could show you guys but i don't want to put people like pictures on here uh but it's like yellow and like a white solid white in the back with the the usual colors and then it's like yellow with the um the writing and it just it just doesn't give <laughs> no tea no shade like i'm still gonna go take it up because you know it says duke on it uh but i i i i will not be wearing it i will be wearing this one and what does it look okay there you go this one right here ordered it on amazon can take cloth it has the little jurist doctor little scales of justice and this says class of 2023 so we picked that up my little honors stole because <laughs> one thing about me if i know it's gonna look horrible in pictures listen it's a no <laughs> we woke up to a graduation delivery so let's open it i know i look a little crazy right now i'm just ignore that because they knocked my door and i was like um uh, who's there uh but we got some flower gifts and i'm only supposed to open this on my graduation day you know how people receive flowers on graduation day but i know this company my boyfriend ordered my birthday flowers the 100 roses uh, from this same exact company and they need time to bloom so it would be essential or better if i open it now but maybe we'll just get a little peek because i just want to see what i just want to see what they look like 
I'm low-key glad I woke up though because I should have been up already but I was having a really weird dream that I was in New York and it was raining and I got caught in the rain like it was a downpour and the man at the bodega uh, charged me $50 for uh, an umbrella and I paid it because I needed to get to where I was going it was like a party something with my my friends who are also graduating this year I was like I paid the $50 and I got outside tried to open the umbrella and it was like this huge umbrella that took up like the entire street and I couldn't like hold it myself it was like a three-person umbrella uh, so I was mad went back to the bodega and there was another person that was mad about their umbrella and they were like listen if you can't put it back into the little umbrella sleeve, he's not going to give you your money back. So her and I are just like struggling to put our individual umbrellas in the, in the, in the little sleeve. It was just a lot. Like, it was stressful. I'm, I'm glad I'm free from that. Okay, let's take a look at these bad boys. The little like pink, purple roses. Like, they definitely need to bloom. You see what I mean? Like, they come closed. Um, so they definitely need time out in the open to look how pretty they are. I feel so grateful. I'm so excited. Ugh. I'll show you guys my apartment real quick because yesterday I didn't vlog. It is thursday by the way i didn't vlog um because i was mostly cleaning the whole day and i didn't want to add another cleaning montage to this vlog um but i made significant progress so much so that i'm pretty sure that i am done packing outside of like you know the main items that the packing company is going to come and take care of and i'm so grateful like i'm so happy about that like i'm glad i have enough like capital on me to be able to afford them to come and do this because it's just worth it it's just gonna be so worth it to not have to touch any of this stuff none nothing at all this is all like my kitchen stuff right here i packed all of it yesterday my fridge is very laughable like it is there is nothing in there except for like salads apple some green juice and just some condiments that i'm not sure if my family is going to want the cabinets are giving very much empty very much empty so it's a little bit weird to still like be in the house and have nothing in the cabinets really everything that's out are things that i think my family uh, may use or i am currently using and i need to pack it to take it with me but super weird to just have like nothing in the place that i used to have like a bunch of things it used to be filled my room is also basically all done. All of this, the movers will be taken care of. I do need to put this planter outside. I'm sure somebody is going to love that planter. I love it so much, especially as a side table. Um, if you've never done that before, use a planter as like a funky, kooky side table. Do so because I think it's so cute and you can just, it's tiered. You can arrange it in a specific way. I got this from Ikea. Um, the only thing that's really left here is my desk and I will be taking this with me to Dallas. Um, I just need to take it down. I can actually do it myself, but I'm waiting for my boyfriend to come. And then the bathroom really just said empty. Everything's taken down. Lotion that I think people may use. You have my toothbrush, toothpaste. All of my makeup and skincare stuff has gone either here in this bag right here or in my little YSL makeup bag. I'm so glad all of my... Um, all of my tote bags are coming into handy like all of the useless tote bag I, I just collect they're all coming into handy now and I'm really happy about that um again cabinets real empty outside of everything else that I really need I made sure to clean the shower so everything is already technically clean I will say y'all okay so I had this thing up here right here and I got this from Amazon this was low-key hard to take off so if you are you have this in your cart keep that in mind it did not ruin the wall it didn't ruin it but there's definitely like a little bit of whatever is backing this up on this wall and i'm just gonna go ahead and let the company i'm gonna let the leasing office deal with that also the led lights in here were cute uh but very much yikes very much yikes so reconsider that 
And then just in here, we just have the boxes that we've been working on together. You guys were here for this part. Um, the main thing that you guys miss is I just decided to pack up all of my clothes that were in my drawer. I already went through all of it, decided the ones I was going to keep, the ones that I donated. Y'all were here for that one. But I had a bunch of the ones that I was going to keep just still in the drawers. And it was causing me a little bit of anxiety. I just decided to just pack it all up. And they all fit in this suitcase, which is crazy. I know y'all were here when I initially gave all of my all of these clothes to Goodwill to donate. I actually ended up doing even more damage in my closet and that's why it only fits into one suitcase. Like my entire closet is in one suitcase. I've already been questioning my style over the last year or so if you've been watching the vlogs and I've been fighting like trying not to buy things quickly because my closet has, you know, you know, gotten smaller over as the year has gone. But I'm gonna be in a very interesting position for the first time in my life in a couple of months where I'm making a very very high salary where I can afford to buy the things that I actually want to buy instead of like buying a dupe if I don't want to no shade to dupes I have a I have a couple uh but I'm gonna be in like a very interesting position where I can just like buy you know high quality stuff really really work on my style in that way and I want to wait for that so my closet's gonna stay empty for a little bit until that that happens for me. But I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. As my friend Jardin and I like to say, we're about to enter into a tone era. Like it's gonna just look different. You know, being able to afford like, you know, getting facials if I want to, a personal trainer or like a really nice gym because a lot of firms like have a wellness stipend where they give you money or they pay for like half of your gym membership or whatever, whatever. Like it's just, I'm gonna take advantage of all of that. I'm gonna look, look like, I'm gonna look like something like it's gonna be a whole different era i'm just so excited about it you know what i just thought of a name for it it's gonna be we're calling we're gonna call it paid bitch corp salaried bitch corp the lori harvey way Are going out and by we I be me and my boyfriend but he's over there and you guys are gonna look at me first um I want to show you guys my flowers we got another little bouquet of flowers today and you can't see me but hello um this is from uh, my boyfriend's family and I got a really nice card from his mom and it's super sweet and it's purple on theme we love to see it <laughs> Today, I ran a bunch of errands, which you guys saw, uh, but there are two things happening today with slightly conflicting times. So we have the Forever Duke. Uh, it's like a kickoff event. Um, it is for all graduating classes or graduating graduates. <laughs> and it's supposed to have like free food trucks and also fireworks at 9 p.m. But the issue is that Bajipsa, and I cannot, I can't even tell you what that stands for right now. Uh, what does Bajipsa stand for? Do you know? Black grad student professionals. Black grad student professionals. Uh, yeah, something like that. They're having an event also at the 21C uh, Museum Hotel that ends at 10 p.m. I wanted to see the fireworks, but I also wanted to go to the event. So I think one of those things is going to have to give, and it's probably going to have to be the fireworks um, because my I have like an outfit for later tonight. Okay, so people. People have to see it, <laughs> so we have to go. But I am wearing the new foundation I picked up at Sephora earlier this past week, unnecessarily, but I really like it. It's just not mad enough for me, I think. Also, I have this set from Revolve. It's kind of giving, almost giving UNC blue, but the thing is, I will say, as much as our, <laughs> as much as our blue is better, as much as our blue is better in a lot of things, I will say, I would say that UNC Blue eats when it comes to apparel. They do make great apparel. When it comes to finding like dupe blue things, it's hard to find and often the ugly. So if anybody is listening to this, dislike, unsubscribe. <laughs> 
he said dislike unsubscribe i'm just i'm just offering some constructive criticism okay because sometimes you go to the store and you can only find like north carolina blue things and they eat and then the duke things don't really eat like that and i'm just gonna have to be honest but you know yeah <laughs> When they were saying food trucks, they meant it lightly. <laughs> they meant, they said, y'all ain't getting all that money for they free. Said, Stop it. No. Like, y'all, we know y'all gave money. They said you're getting two, and that's it. That's it. Well, in their defense, <laughs> they have a burrito station. <laughs> I did do need to pay you. It's because you're too handsome. What's a, what's a suit? You're a model. Um, okay. Y'all ready? No, no, I ain't ready. I need to get some glasses. Oh, Three, two, one, smile. Bro, right here. So correct. And raising up the price. We're gonna sit by the end. Okay. She was broken or like can pay rent. You know what I mean, girl. It is very dark. Yeah. Focus. Oh, I think you're locked in your face. I just saw it. Oh yeah. We can go to another store and get fish somewhere else if you want. We are getting our toes up, pedicures, crediting of Sandin for me, my mom, and my sister, and also him, and he's meeting them for the first time. So I'm over here whispering to you guys while they chat. Um, but my graduation pictures came up the first round of them. I just posted them and they're just amazing. I did have to do a little bit more editing on them because that's kind of what you get when you have somebody else do the editing. I like to edit a specific way, so I just added some things, but they turned out like amazing, just so good. And if you haven't seen these already, go and like them because, <laughs> because. But after pedicures, we are gonna go back home, change, get ready for a family barbecue that's happening. Um, the school's hosting it at like a venue somewhere. Um, so that's the main event for today. Wow. <laughs> Cheers to me. It's sugar water. Especially during like second semester, what else? Talk to the trees, tell my problems. You problem. lived here second semester, what else? I did. I keep forgetting that I lived here second semester, what else? But I did. Um, she told me. I know. This story. You're my mother. <laughs> you don't lie. You don't tell. I don't lie, but I don't tell the truth. I would come down here and I would talk to all these trees 
and I would hang out and take this walk. It was beautiful. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Stevie, you're running too? <laughs> Uh, I had to run away from this uh, section right here because <laughs> as you guys just saw we I popped champagne and I sprayed it on the walls low-key like I got the walls real good and I smelled like champagne out here um, but my mom the superhuman that she is cleaned up all of the confetti already just I don't even know how she did that but she cleaned it all up uh, there's some on the up on the walls <laughs> but you know what who cares okay who cares because it is my big day this might as well be my wedding this might as well be my wedding that's how i'm treating it i'm treating it like my wedding my engagement whatever it is because what a time you're yeah, cooking the cooking can you guys believe my house was fully clean yesterday <laughs> my house was spotless yesterday but we are barbecuing we are barbecuing for brunch before we start on the festivities. Um, we're making fish. Where's the fish? Oh, there's the fish. We're making fish. You got my flowers right next to the fish. Love to see it. Um, <laughs> and this is the fish chef. And this is the fish chef. <laughs> and then we're making the condiment right here, just like we do in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I wanted for today. So that's what we're doing. Okay, here's the big plan for today. So we're gonna barbecue. We're gonna do fish and then afterwards I'm gonna curl my hair because I decided not to pay for someone to do it because I feel like I can do it um, at this point so we're gonna try I'm gonna just take my time curl every single layer and then uh, I moved my makeup appointment I'm getting a soft feet by Beats by Nay uh, she's like five minutes away from where I'm living right now so it works out really well so we're gonna go and get my hair done I, I mean my makeup done and I'm just not gonna brush out the curls until after she's done with my makeup so that it can stay for a while because ceremony is not until 5 30 uh, but we have to go to a location to take pictures um, yeah because taking pictures of Cameron that which is the the stadium that we're doing the graduation at it's just not going to be the cutest. It would have been if our ceremony wasn't so late in the day. Uh, but because it is late in the day, I don't want to leave it up to chance that we don't get any nice pictures. And you guys already saw my graduation dress. It needs its own moment. So, yeah. <laughs> Here's where we're at right now. Everything is working out perfectly, I think, for the most part. Um, actually, yeah, no, it's going pretty well. Um, I just decided that we're not going to go to a different location to take pictures, and I always do this. If you've watched my videos long enough, and every time I have like an event, I'm like, wouldn't it go somewhere else? And then we always end up in my leasing office taking pictures. But I realized that I'd archived like one picture that I took in a specific spot, and I'm like, okay, that means it's open again. So we're going to go there instead because driving 15 minutes kind of close to the raleigh airport to take pictures and then driving back 17 minutes to go to graduation i don't know it's supposed to rain a little bit i'm a little scared about traffic because because a lot of like graduations are happening right now so i would just hate to do all of that take some cute ass pictures whatever and then not be able to go to graduation or be late to graduation or whatever because of some unforeseen event so i'd rather take a safe and pretty great reward option than a risky and maybe maybe great reward option but yeah right now i'm just at my makeup artist's place waiting for my appointment i'm a little bit early um but i have to say like this feels really surreal like i feel like i'm just getting ready for another grad event or something else like it does not feel like i'm graduating today like i just don't it keeps hitting me and then unhitting me at the same time that this is really it. Like tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be a law school graduate, a Duke law school graduate. It makes no sense to me. Like I know that obviously the plan was to graduate after three years. But the fact that I'm graduating is very, very, it feels very unserious. Like I just, now it's hitting me again. <laughs> now it's hitting me again where I'm just like, wow, like 
it kind of makes me a little bit stressed out, like, but then at the same time, really happy. Like, I don't know, it just feels so, so surreal. It just feels really surreal. Like Y'all, I am late, but it's time, okay? Our meetup was at 4.45, it's currently like 4.50, it's fine. Uh, ceremony doesn't start until 5.30, but like I'm late. And we are all gonna just start walking down. I felt so sweaty. Um, <laughs> it's because of the makeup, okay? Because she did a great job, clearly, as you can see from the face, but she just also, like, talked a lot, so it took some time. for this reputation is that we are taught to think critically, to question everything, and to cross-examine everyone. Add to that learning four to five casebooks a semester over three years. And while you still don't become a legal expert, you do get legal knowledge of how to analyze the world. So, what are you going to do with that knowledge? It's the reason why lawyers can easily influence policymakers, business leaders, and elected officials, or become them ourselves. Sometimes we take this for granted, especially those of us who have been around many lawyers. But remember, this knowledge affords us the power to shape or break a society. It allows us to bring about significant change or just let things remain the same. It gives us the ability to hold powerful positions, positions that most people will never have, and most people never have this degree of agency. So what are you going to do with that power? Leandra Kitty Yomo. And with that, Dean Abrams, I present to you the class of 2023. It wasn't that bad. Oh my lord. We are done. <laughs> Donenzo. I was so scared of falling. <laughs> I was so scared of falling. That's the look. It wasn't that bad. My man, some flowers looking so handsome. Surprise. And my family. <laughs> my diploma. No, it's a paper. Uh, Hold on. Let's look at that. Y'all see that? Juris Doctor. Uh huh. So, look. Um, so, it was like, like the Manhattan, right? Yeah. Cheers. That was a very soft cheers.
Okay. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Y'all know we had to run it back on mimosas one last time. The cheapest mimosa ever in Durham, North Carolina, before I moved to New York and I paid like $50 for bottomless. I would be missing this $12 bottle of champagne for mimosa so much. And also, the fam is here. It makes it so much better. Drink water, eat and drink. I cannot see the camera, but it's okay. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't see it. I see green and pink. Eat and drink and water. drink water. Water only. Water only. <laughs> I'm having a share school. He never goes there. Last time I'm here, I'm, I'm deciding to share school with you. For no pleasure, mom. It's not. It's, it's really not that serious, mom. It's not that serious. Come on, huh? We had a good dessert. The tiramisu was delicious. It was. And then I don't. Whatever that. Was. <laughs> Good. It was good. She didn't want to share. It was so good. She didn't want to share. Yeah. Go back to me. She yeah. left a building in the stomach. She said she left a room. <laughs> I guess we're not taking it home. Look at the piece. <laughs> Look at the piece on the table. We are definitely not taking this home. It's all you have to do to make it real. Then you wouldn't have to say that you love me Cause I already know Well, my friends, the apartment is halfway empty. The movers are on their way to pack everything else up. So I thought this is the perfect time to sit down with you guys and say goodbye to the law school diaries. It still hasn't fully hit me that I have graduated, to be honest. Like it comes in and out. I'd say the most that it fully you know, hit and I had the realization was yesterday when I dropped everybody else off at the airport and I really had the time to sit in the space that I've created for myself over the last two and a half years here in Durham, North Carolina and like walking around, dropping off my gown that I realized like, wow, <laughs> this, this really happened. Like this is truly like my life. Like I am a Duke Law alumni and that is insane to me. I would say like, the most emotions I'm feeling at the moment is less like I graduated and more just being grateful and in awe of the fact that, you know, if anyone that I know, my kids, my nieces and nephews are ever interested in law school, they never have to go through this process alone like I did. Um, and I can actually like help them. Like I am a lawyer. <laughs> I can answer semi-legal questions like what the heck now I can't say that law school has been the funnest three years of my life because you guys were here for that first year when my academically rigorous institution became academically rigorous um, so I won't lie to you guys like that uh, but as you can see from all of the vlogs especially when I touched down in Durham I have had such an enjoyable experience here. It has been an absolute pleasure, especially to be in person, meeting my friends and all the connections that I made, seeing them grow into who they are, who they want to be into adults, them seeing me grow. I don't think that I expected law school to be the place where I really found myself, like really found the majority of my identity, but I am so grateful 
that it was i <laughs> i have had such such an eye-opening experience here and i'm so thankful to my friends i'm thankful to my peers the duke law community and just durham north carolina in general <laughs> and that is so funny if you go back to my apartment search i cried when i came here and looked for apartments and something i said to my mom was oh my god durham is so dead i can't imagine living here and now i am just so sad to leave i don't think that i've ever felt more heard seen supported and respected than i have in this space with these people my friends my community and i can say confidently confidently that i have thrived thrived here and i can't I can't say that without giving you guys a lot of that credit also. It's actually really funny because a couple of days ago I saw a tweet about me, I think it was a tweet, that said something along the lines of like, Leandra has such main character energy um, for posting like an hour or so vlog about her life and expecting people to watch it and we do. And it made me laugh because I didn't really expect a lot of people to watch the vlogs and watch the series. I was mostly, you know, starting all of this because I wanted to fill a hole I saw on the internet uh, in terms of, you know, black girls going to law school. I didn't feel like a lot of people my age were documenting their journey and I really wanted to be that person. I didn't care if no one watched it uh, because those hour long you know setup is the way that i like to do videos so i just figured you know i know they're really long i don't know if anyone's really gonna mess with this but i uh, this is what i'm enjoying and i hope even if it reaches across one person and they find it helpful then my job is done and you guys just came like it was such a surprise, like such a shock. I cannot describe it to you guys. Like you guys really came and started supporting me. I can I am really at a loss for words at the amount of love and support and encouragement and everything in between. Like you guys are part of my cheer squad, like every single day, every single post, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, my email. You guys have truly, truly shown me a level of community that is so far reaching from all across like the country, all across the world. I did not expect any of that. When my sister was here, she asked me if I felt any type of way about not having 10, 20, 30 people at my graduation. And the thing is, I didn't feel like I did have a lot of support because I knew that you guys would show up for me like you always do and you sure did. You really did. You really did. And I've received so many lovely messages on all of my social media platforms. And yesterday I was crying about them because they're just so much of them. And I never thought that I would have, um, <laughs> I never thought that I would have, um, such an impact. Um, and I am just so very grateful that you guys have allowed me like into your hearts <laughs> and have decided that you want to support me. And I hope that, um, I hope that throughout this journey, um, walking that stage, getting this degree, I truly hope that I have made you happy with that decision and that I have made you so very proud. And I truly hope that as time goes on and I settle into, you know, being a lawyer, you know, after I pass the bar, being an esquire, that I continue to make you guys proud for your decision to support me over the, the next the last three years for some of you guys since undergrad since I was you know basically a baby <laughs> a lot of you guys have seen me become you know a person <laughs> like an adult a full-fledged grown woman and your love and support I, I just I couldn't have done that without it I really couldn't I'm honestly trying to stop crying, but I can't because I keep remembering meeting a lot of you guys in person uh, when I first came to Durham and you know in person to start school and met everyone. I met so many one else who, 
you know, knew me and, you know, were telling me how much I helped them in either the law school or just in general and meeting people from like other grad schools who just like watch my stuff and just said such nice things. And um, I know I was really like shocked when I went to New York and there were people over there who like knew me and would say such nice things to me. And um, so, so all I can really say is like, Thank you so much. <laughs> like, this has been amazing. So, thank you. I'm getting so many messages of people who, you know, watch me and felt like I supported them in some way or another while they were doing, you know, the LSAT, the law school application process. And now they're telling me how, like, they're one L's already or they're about to start law school and what my importance in that decision was. And I'm just so honored um, to all the black and brown women and men of color who applied to duke law and you know spoke about me in your application i am so honored like i'm very much honored thank you i truly mean it when i say that i would not be the person i am today without you guys without your support without your love so this degree is very much ours as much as it is mine so we're gonna take one more look at it look at it <laughs> because we truly did that and to read what is on there it says the faculty and trustees in recognition of the successful completion of the course of study required by the school of law have conferred on leandra kitayomo the degree of juris doctor given a durham in the state of north carolina this 14th day of may 2023 um, <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't stop crying this is just but look we really did that we really did this now for next steps because I'm not leaving YouTube I'm not saying goodbye forever I will literally start vlogging again on Monday uh, but I just want to let you guys know what's happening from here um, so now I enter bar prep I need to pass the bar before I can call myself an Esquire I also need to pass the bar to start my job in a big law firm in New York City um, so that's what I will be doing for the next couple of months next two months the bar is on July 24th and 25th I believe um, and I'm going to be studying starting next Monday I am taking a week off to move from this apartment go to dallas really get set up and then start studying and obviously i will be vlogging this process for you guys just to take you guys along the journey also um after i take the bar i will be heading to a bar trip i'm going to barcelona so you guys know we're gonna be vlogging then too and afterwards i have to do my big move to new york city so there's gonna be a lot of like apartment stuff happening apartment hunts moving in all the stuff and then we're gonna start our job at this big law firm in new york so there's definitely still a lot more happening there and i really 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 hope i see you on that journey but until then i love you i appreciate you and thank you so so much thank you so much i'll see you later okay bye <laughs> <laughs> like this is happening. Why am I panicking? Because everything is so different. <laughs> the campus, every time I go, I'm just like, ah. Oh my god, it's snowing. Man, that test was something. I guess my computer um, restarted <laughs> and all of the practice problems all of my scripts all of that they're just they're just gone <laughs> it's beautiful I'm just I'm just excited you guys cross your fingers for me that I wrote something smart <laughs> look how professional I look <laughs> and then look at my pants and I'm like what what the what the hell? Like, how did we get here? Like, I, I really expected something to happen all the way here. I, I, I didn't think that this was going to be really even possible for me. The biggest successes I've had 
is just being here with how much crap that I like I've dealt with with like really bad mental health and stuff. This is a win. This right here, just just not even me in law school, just me being alive and now actually like growing into my truth and trying to live more like the person that I know that I am, be my authentic self. This is like such a win. Such a win.